The larynx should be examined extrinsically by palpation on a dry swallow, putting the fingers just above the thyroid notch and having the patient swallow voluntarily. It is a very subjective impression that the clinician will get from a dry swallow and palpation, but nevertheless a very important evaluation and data point. Also recall that the palpation of a male larynx is quite different than that of a female larynx. The male larynx tilted anteriorly about 15 degrees, whereas the female is much more vertical. We have to evaluate the larynx from a functional standpoint, especially with regard to a cough, and we may have to listen for a voluntary cough and try to compare it to any observations of spontaneous involuntary coughing that might occur. Coughing is often a, a lost function when patients have dyspraxia and can't plan, organize, initiate a voluntary cough. So that's something that we should record. In my clinics, I advocate for intrinsic inspection of the larynx. We, do th we did this with a rigid fiber optic scope in order to look at the condition of the mucosa lining of the larynx, describing any lesions in the same way that we talked about before, watching for the symmetry of the vocal folds at rest and enduring movement, looking at the airway, the clarity of the airway, and any pooling in either the vollecula or piriform sinuses. Palpation, simply putting the hands on the larynx, feeling the briskness of the laryngeal elevation during the swallow, the timing of that movement, getting a subjective impression of how the patient is performing. Intrinsic examination, looking at the structures of the vocal folds, the false folds, the shape and condition of the epiglottis, the, any evidence of pooling in either the vollecula or piriform sinuses, and the, the condition of the airway with hopefully no evidence of pooling or secretions moving through the airway. 